The title of our story is Animal ABCs. In this story, you're going to learn animals in alphabetical order. Find out which animals start with the letters in your name. A is for alligator. A baby alligator hatches from an egg. B is for bear. A polar bear cub stays close to its mother. C is for clownfish. A stinging sea anemone is home for a clownfish and her babies. D is for deer. A baby deer or fawn will lose its white spots when it grows up. E is for elephant. An elephant calf suckles milk from its mother. F is for ferret. Ferret kids love to play. Would you like to play with a ferret? G is for giraffe. A newborn giraffe is six feet tall, as big as a grown-up person. H is for horse. A foal runs alongside the mother horse on the day it is born. How old were you before you could run? I is for iguana. Iguanas use their claws for climbing trees where they rest and eat leaves. J is for joey. A baby kangaroo is called a joey. A joey stays inside the mother's pouch for most of its first year. Do you see Joey? Here is Joey in his mother's pouch. Hmm? Joey, how do you describe Joey? Yes, Joey is small and the mother is large. Okay, next. Here. K is for kiwi bird. A kiwi bird does not fly, but it does have a wonderful sense of smell. L is for lion. A lioness carries her cub by the loose skin on the top of its neck. Oh, look at the baby lion. Do you see how he carries his baby? Oh, wow, that's so cute. M is for monkey. A baby monkey rides on its mother's back as she jumps from tree to tree. Oh, that's very cute. Look! What are they eating? They're eating leaves. Just like us, we eat vegetables. And the baby monkey is so sweet. Yeah? She holds her mother. Oh, okay, that's very nice. N is for narwhal. A male narwhal has one long twisted tooth. Some people say the legend of the unicorn began with a narwhal tooth. O is for otter. A mother otter swims with her pup riding on her belly. P is for penguin. An emperor penguin father holds its baby on his feet to protect it from the cold snow. Look at the baby penguin, just like the kangaroo. The, the daddy protects the baby. The kangaroo protects the the kangaroo mommy protects her baby kangaroo. This so they're just like us, just like mommy and the baby. Q is for qual. The qual and her baby sleep during the day. They come out to hunt for food at night. R is for rabbit. A rabbit mother may have as many as 10 babies, called kits, in one litter. Oh, 
How many rabbits are here? Can you help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many rabbits are small? Five. One, two, three, four, five rabbits are small. And who do you think is this? The large one. Yes, this is the mother. S is for seahorse. The father seahorse carries hundreds of the mother's eggs in his pouch. Once they hatch, the babies swim away. T is for tiger. Tigers are an endangered species. We need to make sure that there are safe places for tigers to live. U is for umbrella bird. The umbrella bird's call sounds like a big drum and echoes loudly through the rainforest. V is for vervet. A vervet monkey uses its hands, feet, and tail to grab onto branches as it swings through the trees. W is for wolf. If a wolf cub can't see its mother, it howls in answer to her call. X is for x-ray fish. X-ray fish swim alongside each other in an aquarium. Y is for yak. The Chinese word for yak means hairy cow. Can you guess why? Z is for zebra. All zebras may look alike to you, but each one has a pattern of stripes as different as a fingerprint. Some of the animals in this book, including polar bears, the kiwi bird, tigers, and some kinds of zebra, have been classified as endangered. Your family or school can make a difference by supporting conservation programs, zoos, and nature reserves that host animal breeding programs, and also by being good environmental citizens. Every one of us is part of the vast network of life on Earth, and we can all help to keep our planet a wonderful home for living things. Seymour Simon The end. So we saw a lot of animals. Can you name animals that start with your name? Or does, can you name animals that start with the letters in your name? 